Rich here, and that was You're No Good by Linda Ronstadt. It was actually several parts of You're No Good by Linda Ronstadt. That wasn't the whole thing, obviously. Um, but uh, what you heard was basically part of the intro, part of the verse, part of the chorus, and there's like this guitar solo kind of lead thing. Um, this song is really, really awesome for a couple reasons. One, it, it is definitely doable on acoustic guitar, so don't think, oh, uh, it's played on electric guitar, therefore I can't play it on acoustic. That's, that's baloney, you know? Um, but the bigger than that is that it utilizes some really cool rhythms that are, that are really actually pretty simplistic, but have a nice funky feel to them um, and uh, really establish like a really nice pocket. You know, th those chords. They have like this very solid groove that's not only easy to sing over, but it's easy to play over, and it, it just lends itself really well to acoustic playing. Um, so today in this lesson, what we're going to talk about, we're basically going to cover all the guitar parts. Um, the intro, the verse, the chorus, there's like a little bridge thing that sort of, uh, that uses hybrid picking. Um, and then that guitar solo, that like lead playing and all that stuff. Um, so before we begin, I want you to make sure that you're comfortable with uh, certain types of chords, you know, I'm going to be using chord names like minor, major, minor 7, major 7, um, dominant 7. If you don't know what any of these chords are, take a second and go back and check out uh, some of our lessons on what those chords are because that's sort of important. You really want to make sure that you understand not just how to play the song, but what those chord symbols actually mean. Um, a, lot of get, a lot of mistakes of um, certain guitar players make when they're learning is that they'll say, oh, this is the shape of a B flat major seven chord, but, and they can play it and they can play it perfectly every single time, but they have no idea what a major seven chord actually is and what differentiates it from a minor seven chord or from a dominant seven chord, you know, this type of thing. So you want to have at least some tiny basis of theory uh, and at least sort of understand the various types of seventh chords because not only will that help you with this song, but it'll help you with pretty much every other song um, because most songs have at least one type of a seventh chord in it. So uh, make sure that you're kind of brushed up on that info and we will dive right into the song. Coming up right now. <laughs> 